Okay, so apart from uh, frame layout, there's another uh, very simple layout that exists, which uh, you might want to use if you don't want to, you know, uh, get down to the entire, uh, you know, uh, uh, the the, the uh, all the features that you need out of a constraint layout. If you don't need all of them, then there is something called a linear layout as well. Okay, so let's uh, go to our uh, project view here and let's go to layout and uh, let's create a new another uh, layout to source file. This time I'll uh, say call it activity underscore main uh, underscore three dot xml. Okay, and uh, I will give it a linear layout. Okay. So a uh, couple of errors, like as you can see here is happening uh, unsupported operator exception, although the file getting created. So these are the kind of things that happen if you're using the preview version of Android Studio. That's why for beginners, I generally recommend that you use the standard version of Android Studio. Uh, this, this is an error that you can actually ignore. If you're using the preview version, you can click, okay, you can click cancel and it has gotten created as you can see. But uh, like I said, it can sometimes confuse you people if you are uh, like a beginner and you try to use the uh, preview or the you know RC version. So it's better if you stick to the stable version of Android Studio, which as as when I'm when I'm making this video, that's 4.0. 4.1 is in uh, you know RC and 4.2 is in preview. So don't generally use the preview versions. Okay, coming back to our topic. So with the linear layout, what happens is like if you go to the split view again, and uh, you know uh, we try to put some things inside linear layout. So if I put take a text view and I put it here, that's where the text view is created. Okay. Now uh, if I uh, take a button and I put it here, it gets put under it. If I take uh, a switch and I put it there, that gets put underneath here. Then if I uh, take like something else, like if I take a chip I put it here so I think uh, chips are not visible uh, let's let's remove a chip uh, it's for checkbox right uh, and uh, yeah so uh, so what happens is uh, essentially what uh, you are uh, really seeing is like if I put a you know progress bar uh, below that uh, right uh, if I put a seek bar below that uh, let me move the progress bar. progress bar is not visible generally okay now uh, what I do is I change uh, the uh, content view to activity uh, main three here instead of that and uh, let's run this one so you will notice that what happens with the linear layout is that things get laid out one after the other in a linear fashion that's why it's called a linear layout okay so uh, here's it on the app so this is the text view this is the button this is the switch and this is the checkbox this is the uh, you know seek bar so uh, if you want things laid out you know one after the other and you want them in a certain way now uh, for example in this case um, if i uh, change the orientation from uh, vertical to horizontal uh, interesting thing will happen is that everything would be uh, and uh, you know uh, for every item like the text view i uh, make it wrap content the button I make it wrap content and the switch also I make it wrap content checkbox I can also make it wrap content and uh, the seek bar also um, yeah something like this okay so uh, if I just run it again now in this case uh, what will happen is that uh, all the items are laid out one after the other in the horizontal direction uh, so uh, that's that's basically uh, how linear layout works so either it can be in the horizontal direction or it can be in the uh, vertical uh, direction uh, like this one after the other so if you want things to be laid out one after the other uh, then uh, a good thing to use is a linear layout within the linear layout uh, when the items are placed you can also make sure that you know these items here like if you just select all of them and you select uh, this thing uh, set layout with the match parent what will happen is that here as you can see all of these items they have something called layout to width parameter and layout width is wrap content wrap content wrap content like this so if i click on uh, this you see all of their uh, layout width becomes uh, match parent match parent so when you write match parent layout width then they take up the uh, width of the entire parent which is the main screen uh, or if you just uh, set uh, their width to wrap content then they just take up as much uh, screen that they need uh, to take okay so you can set both the height and the width to match parent or wrap content wrap content uh, will shrink them to the amount of space that their contents are taking and match parent will uh, take up the amount of space that their parent uh, provides them so uh, these are the two ways you can uh, select width and height of elements as well and you can put them like in a linear layout and then they come one after the other now um, you know basic programming fundamentals as you know there is like time and space complexity of all kinds of calculations whether you're searching sorting inserting items into a data structure and removing items from data structure. they have their time complexities now uh, what happens like the frame layout is the least complex structure to work with so uh, if you do not need a very complex laying out uh, architectures and you are okay with 
putting the items in one of those nine positions okay you want to put an item just to the center of the screen and that's it so uh, i would say go with the frame layout because uh, it makes life a lot easier uh, because uh, you know the uh, the complexity of writing the xml code is also easier uh, you you are more easily able to understand what's written and uh, the os also is able to render it faster because the complexity of adding one item to the frame layout is o of one okay uh, now, uh, with linear layouts, what happens is when you enter this item on the screen, it has to find out what position it has to be rendered. So it has to traverse this item, this item, this item, find out that, okay, this is the position where the fourth item is going to be rendered, right? So uh, linear layouts are a little bit more complex than frame layouts, uh, okay? Um, because uh, there is the order of layout that is involved here. And constraint layouts are generally the most uh, complex uh, bit of layout. So don't use constraint layout just because it is easy to drag and drop items on the screen so uh, if uh, frame layout uh, you know is sufficient for your use cases use a frame layout if linear layout is sufficient for your use cases then use a linear layout and then if you need then only use a constraint layout okay uh, and uh, in, in in this course in the set of videos i would be using a lot of xml along with uh, drag and drop myself i want you guys to be well versed with both ways of developing apps you should not become handicapped as a developer that you can only drag and drop but you can't write xml code because then you are a very weak android developer okay so uh, we will see more of uh, all that stuff uh, as we progress uh, down the course right so this has been a linear layout